The conditions are the main challenge for us? Oh, definitely not. No, the, uh, Bangladesh has got a, a very strong side and uh, we've been doing our homework on them. So, I mean, they've got a lot of strong players still playing in the side. I know a few are being rested and, and that's the nature of it, similarly with our side. But uh, we certainly feel there's a lot of power within the Bangladesh side and some crafty players. So um, we'll be prepared for it tomorrow. And as I said, we'll just take it as it comes. Um, but at the same time, you know, I love playing in the subcontinent. It's always such a good challenge. Um, and Bangladesh, obviously, is so strong. There are home conditions. So hopefully the rain stays away. But I'll be interested to see what the wicket's like um, tomorrow and through this uh, series. Um, but certainly leaning on Jurgo um, and a few of our players who were here a couple of years ago in terms of how the wicket plays. Um, but certainly within our group, it's the fantastic part is that we don't just have one leader. It's very much a group um, and a team effort on the day. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, um, we're professionals, certainly we take a game as it comes. This is a, a big series for us and a, a very challenging one. Um, so from our point of view, it's good build up for a World Cup, but at the same time, you know, we're very much focused on this series. Uh, we know how strong Bangladesh are in their home conditions, so it's a good challenge for us against them. And it's my first time playing here, so certainly plenty to learn on, on my behalf. But uh, the boys are really looking forward to tomorrow and getting underway. Yeah, uh, certainly different, once again, conditions, but, um, you know, uh, with the experience that we've had uh, in the subcontinent, we've got to learn as pace bowlers how to bowl potentially in a different role. It's not always about maybe blowing out and getting wickets, but holding up an end and perhaps spinners play more of a role. However, I have seen some highlights from here when England was here and there was still some good pace as wickets, so I suppose that's when change-ups tend to come in a bit more. Obviously, with it being so humid as well, um, the ball tends to swing. So um, we're sort of known for our swing bowling, and I'm sure we'll still be able to use that tomorrow. Uh, yeah, look, um, obviously Bangladesh in their home conditions, as I was saying, a very good spin attack. Um, and having played here, the boys a few years ago uh, have passed on a lot of knowledge. Um, but our batters, you know, have been preparing. They're used to spinning tracks, having played around the world. So. I'm sure this will be a different challenge for many reasons, um, but at the same time the boys are uh, you know, prepared for that challenge uh, and we'll take it as it comes, but certainly going to be a challenging series. What's our expectation? Yes. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, we're here to win, yeah, so uh, it starts with game one and we'll take it from there, but certainly we're here to win cricket games. Um, obviously it's challenging to do in this part of the world and against a, a very strong side, but I think every time the Black Caps put on that jersey, we're playing the game to win. However, we know there's a process to it. It doesn't just focus on the outcome. Where it's important to focus on the steps throughout the game and trying to nail what we do best as a group. And certainly the Kiwi way is to keep scrapping throughout the whole game. No doubt there'll be uh, momentum shifts throughout this series and throughout these games. But certainly from our point of view, we're going to pride ourselves on fighting to them. Yeah, I mean, clearly a guy with a lot of experience and certainly really enjoying him back at, within the group. Um, straight away in England he came in and, um, you know, was exceptional and it was challenging to bowl quick and, um, you know, the scores were high in England. His expertise and calmness under pressure was, you couldn't really replace it by anything. So I guess without Tim here um, and Matt Henry as well, um, you know, Bolt's going to, have a bigger leadership role as he always does, um, but he's certainly a, a gem for us and um, someone that I certainly enjoy playing uh, alongside. And you know, I'm sure if it's swinging tomorrow, he's one of the guys who'll get some swing out of it.